What is up, everybody? My name is Jose Chavez, coming to you from Austin, Texas. I'm the lead developer at Roforge, and today we're gonna break down the app for you. We're gonna go through all of the major pages, and we're gonna show you how to connect your app to the Concept2 rower. Let's get to it. All right, so the first page on the RowForge app is the home page. We're gonna go from the bottom up and explain all the sections. First, we have the tip of the week. This is where you're gonna find weekly instructional tips written to you on the home page so you can see and read a lot of different advice from many different trainers. Next, going from the bottom up, we have a link to the tutorials page where you're gonna find a lot of helpful tutorials uh, in the coming weeks as we're gonna try and release videos every week and every month. Next, we have some stats up here. These stats are gonna represent the stats from your latest workout. You'll have the option to re-row immediately or go to the logbook where you can see and look at all the other workouts that you've done recently. So to navigate throughout the rest of the app, let's visit the two biggest side drawers. So if you go to the top left-hand side here, you're gonna see a little hamburger icon. Here, you're gonna see the main left side drawer. This is gonna bring you a list of different pages that you can access throughout the app and we're gonna go through each one of these Next, we're gonna go through the top right side drawer and this is gonna be the personal info menu. Here, you're gonna see a little bit different options to access personal info, changing your password, logging into Concept2, logging out, and then just going back to where you started on the homepage. So to navigate throughout the app, we're gonna tilt our phone to the side here and we're gonna demonstrate what the app looks like in landscape mode, which will probably be your default landscape mode if you have it up here in the rower. Now, let's get to the left side drawer. So if we open the left side drawer, you'll see a grid of all the different pages. Let's go to the first page next, which is the signature workouts page. Signature workouts are the workouts that have the watts target calculated for you based on your 2K test score. So in other words, once you've completed your 2K test, which we will go over later, you'll find that all of these signature workouts will have calculated targets for you listed on all of the intervals here on the right, and you'll be able to access the description of every single workout here on the left. You'll have the option to row, and then cancel and then go back to the main signature workouts page. You'll notice here on the bottom that there are four major workout zones. In every single major workout zone, you'll be able to browse the workouts in that workout zone. So these workouts are where you're gonna find the personalized targets calculated for you from the app itself. So the next page we're gonna talk about on this side drawer, if we open it back up again, is the HIT training workout page. Here you are going to see all of the different HIT training workouts, which are different than the signature workouts. In order to get a calculated target, you'll have to successfully complete the entire workout, and then you'll set a baseline for this HIT workout. Now, you can either try and rebeat your baseline in order to reset the targets back to sprint, or you can manually reset it with the HIT reset button. Okay, so the next major page we're gonna talk about is the conditioning program page. Here you're gonna find the conditioning programs, which is essentially six weeks, four days a week of 5,000 meters. This program is great for getting started on your rowing technique, perfecting your rowing technique, building strength for all of the other signature workouts, and also building up general body conditioning. You'll find that after you've completed all the workouts, you'll earn this badge and you'll get the progress listed here as a percentage completed. Once you complete all six weeks, the conditioning program will reset back to sprint for you so that you can set a new baseline and then every single week will have a slightly increased target for you to hit. So the next major section before we talk about the Viking Power Profile is the test section. Here you're gonna get a list of all of the major tests in the RowForge app. In order to set a baseline for all of your signature workouts, you'll need to row the 2000 meter sprint. After you row the 2000 meter sprint, the app will start calculating all of the personalized targets for you in the signature workouts page. All of the other tests are gonna correspond to a, a major workout zone. To see how well you're doing in these tests and to see how well you're doing in comparison to the app's projected target for you, we're gonna go to the Viking Power Profile. This is the heart and soul of the personalized training. You can see the difference between your projected score and your score. All of the different bar graphs here are gonna represent the watts that you hit on every single test. You'll see here that if I click on the first graph, I'm going to see my score on the 100 meter test, which is in the muscle power zone. If you click on the projected line here, the green line, you'll see the app's projected score for that exam. If you find that you're above every single one of the projected scores, it's time for you to retest your 2000 meters. Row Forge is a tool to help you adjust 
your training routine and dynamically improve your performance. The next major page we're gonna talk about is the logbook page. Here you're gonna get a list of all the workouts you have ever wrote in the app. You'll see the name, the date, the time, the meters, and the average watts that you've hit on that workout. What's great is at the bottom here, we have a filter option. You can filter your workouts by date, by distance, or by time. The next major page we're gonna talk about is the badges page. Here you're gonna see all of the different badges you've earned throughout the course of your app usage. However many times you've wrote a workout successfully, you will earn one badge. Finally, the last page on the left side drawer is gonna be the subscription page. Come to this page to upgrade your subscription and then view your subscription. We have a monthly and annual 30 days free. Finally, we're gonna show you how to connect your phone to the Concept2 machine. First, make sure that you're on the main menu page of your PM5. After your PM5 is in the main menu screen, go ahead and go to the connect option here. You'll notice that the PM5 is now attempting to connect and search for Bluetooth devices. Let's go to our signature workout, pick a signature workout and click let's row. The phone will now start to scan for your rower. Once you see the same PM5 ID in the list of found devices, go ahead and click that found ID. You'll notice that the PM5 is connected and now the app is going to send your workout to the PM5. Once the workout is loaded in, you'll see that the PM5 is showing the first interval of your workout, and then you're ready to row. In part two of this video, we're gonna be going over what you see on the workout session page and a little bit more details about how to get started on real rowing. Until then, we'll see you next time.